Hello and welcome. I've been going through these batteries for the last few videos, testing them, trying to fix them, using different techniques, trying different things. And we've got to the stage out of the eight, six are now fixed. Um, the only two remain that are not fixed is the one 8 amp pro core, one of the 8 amp pro cores, this one's alright. Now, and this 6 amp ordinary, the rest of these are all going. I think this might be the last video in the series because we have um, we've managed to procure cells for these the 6 amp. I managed to get my hands on a couple of 3000 milliamp cells to fix the two that's away. I marked them, uh, but I haven't been able to secure any cells for this. So what we're going to do in this video is replace the cells. I've already tested it, I've already marked that the cells are defective in this bank. So I have to pull these two out and replace them. Screws out of this, I didn't tighten them up too much because I knew they were coming out again. So with the screws out and the sides off, we've marked this bank of cells as being the faulty one. And I'm going to run the multimeter down the banks of cells. We did this in the previous video, but just to recap, just to get updated for you and for me, where we are with this battery, as far as voltage is concerned. That one's not, that one's not high. Two forty-seven, two thirty-one. That one's definitely dead. That one is is very very low. I'm very concerned with that one. That needs a bit of bank. Mm. They all they all need a bit of cell recovery, but that second bank is definitely away, and we'll. We'll just do a voltage check in the cells that we got, just to see where we're up to that. Once we have these cells in, our job's not done. We'll have to do a balancing job in the pack, and that'll take a lot of time. Uh, these are up at four, so we'll have to bring the rest. These are fully charged. We'll have to bring the, the rest up to full charge, and that's going to take a bit of time. The second bank we need out anyway.
So that's the cell replacement part done. Um, we've got serious cell imbalance in this pack now. Though the cells are all good, they're all relay to whack with each other. The two that I put on are up to full charge. There's uh, three banks of them down to 2.39 and one of them is below a volt. So we've got to just get the V6 charger out and spend a bit of time. Right, what well, I think I'm going to do is take up these three cell banks first, these one, two, three. So we're going to just give her a boost. There we go. And what we're looking, we're looking to bring these up to 12 volts. See, it's down at 7. Right, I've shut down the charger now. That took a good while. I have these three banks up on par with this, these new cells that I've put on. I'll just show you to give you an idea what I'm talking about. They were 2.29 or something. They're 411. 412. 412, that's pretty good. And the new bank is 4.15. And there's virtually nothing this end bank. So we'll have to try and get up to charge. It's just a, a sliver of a voltage. So we're going to have to connect that up now. And get it to charge it somehow. Hopefully it, hopefully it will. It should do. These little chargers are quite versatile like that. We'll use a magnet in this end. Right, so here we are, we're sitting there for 1S and hopefully it'll charge it because it's very low. Yeah, it's taking it up nicely. Hopefully that'll not take as long as the three banks took. Uh, should should be quite quick. I'm putting four amps on there so it should happen quickly. Well it's fair to say that has took a long time. That's 113 minutes. But I think we're where we need to be now. I'm going to remove everything from here safely. I'll give her a little volt check to see what happens. And it's showing over 20.2 volts. So, yeah, I'm calling that fixed. And of the eight batteries, we've now got seven fixed. At the start, I received. Eight Bosch batteries, and this is the only one that's not repaired, so I would call that a victory. Seven out of eight ain't bad. If you want to see some of the other repairs, I'm going to probably put them all on a, on a playlist of their own on my channel. And if you like this video, and like the series of videos, and like the repair stuff, just give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything, just hit that, hit that subscribe button.